familiarity can sometimes offer warmer comfort than those fresh-faced things embracing reinvention. That may well be an underlying feeling for those who've bought any Suzuki Grand Vitara in the past decade and who've just climbed into the 2016 version. Essentially, it's the same car, the 4x4 Savi SUV that's grand in name but no longer quite so grand in size is still planted in the generation that launched back in 2005. In fact, one of the first cars a fledgling car advice reviewed back in our formative 2006 was a Grand Vitara of what still remains, essentially, the current generation. That's a good innings, five different Prime Ministers have been through the big chair in this Grand Vitara's life cycle. And with no planned replacement for the only true 4x4 in the medium SUV segment, as its importer describes it, in lieu of Australia's recent political track record, you'd be inclined to suspect the mid-sized Suzuki may still be around once PM Turnbull moves his personals out of the lodge. That's some staying power, though it's not as if the Grand Vitara mold has been perpetually set in stone. There's been some newness and freshness introduced in the past 11 years, some modernization to the styling, equipment updates, a bit of range consolidation to trim the lineup and aging engines lost to the march of progression, all in efforts to keep up with the times. All the while the Grand Vitara has traded off its tough old cloth, proper multi-mode 4x4 running gear strapped to a monocoque integrated ladder frame backbone, as a counter to rivaling newcomers of a more soft rotor persuasion.